Hello. This week, we're going to be talking to you about OEN Awards winners. We're going to be describing a thing called works giving. And we're going to be giving you two potential hardware meetups to attend if you're a person who likes to tinker or hack on hardware. But first, most importantly, the big story of the week, of course, was Agility Robotics. It seems like every single week we're hearing something new from Agility Robotics out of Albany. If you're not familiar with Agility Robotics, they're a OSU spin out, Oregon State spin out. Uh, they make a humanoid bipedal robot designed eventually to work right alongside humans, especially in warehouse environments or facilities where there are many manual repetitive tasks that are performed currently by humans, but may have the potential to be performed by digit, their bipedal humanoid robot. So you have the humanoid bipedal robots, and then you have the other humanoids. Well, you humans, they're not humanoids, they're humans that work alongside. And it seems like every week uh, lately, Agility Robotics has got something in the news. You know, they're either in the Wall Street Journal or they're getting some investment or they're winning a new customer. And this week they accomplished two of those things. Uh, Schaeffler Group has mentioned that they are now a customer of Agility Robotics and will be using their bipedal humanoid robots in their facilities. But also Schaeffler Group has decided to invest in Agility Robotics. So it's kind of a it's a it's a win win in terms of not only do they gain a customer, but they also gain an investor. And, and in so doing, they get they truly get a partner to, to work with them on on Digit and, and other humanoid robot things <laughs> that they may be building. I don't know. I've only seen Digit. I've only seen what Digit can do, and Digit's pretty cool. So if you're not familiar with Agility Robotics, I'll link them up. You can watch the videos of Digit and what Digit does. But my obsession with Digit aside, <laughs> they've also got a new customer and a new investor. So congratulations to Agility Robotics. It's been really exciting to watch their journey, and I will continue to keep you informed about what's going on down south in Albany, Oregon with Agility Robotics. We're entering that season where people are, are thankful and showing gratitude for people in their lives. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching the show or listening to the show or showing up on a regular basis and hanging out with me. It's always great to have you here, always great to see you, and I would love to have you here every week. Look, maybe you're busy, maybe it slipped your mind, but for whatever reason you didn't make it to the OEN Awards, no judgment. You were really curious about who was going to win. You wanted to celebrate those winners, but you're like, I just, I, I didn't happen to make it. Well, chill, chill. Just settle down. I've got the winners for you right here in a very well manicured and filtered list. So I can just read it off real quickly. I will probably mispronounce some of the companies because I, I don't know how to pronounce all their names. I'm fully willing to admit that as somebody with a nearly uh, constantly mispronounced last name. I'm always conscious of mispronouncing names, so I'm sorry if I don't get some of these companies or names exactly right. But what I would like to do is keep you informed about who walked away with OEN Awards 2024 OEN Entrepreneurship Awards, the 30th anniversary of that award ceremony. I believe Gert Boyle of Columbia Sportswear was the first one to be recognized in the OEN Awards. It's a lot bigger than just, just one award these days. So let me read off the list of the folks who won and the award that they won. Okay, ready? Here we go. A Kids Co. won the Trailblazer Award. Brand Wine, Brand Win, won the Growth Stage Award. Rising Wines Collective won the Early Stage Award. Rock Paper Coin won the Development Stage Award. Seth Tibbet, who is the founder of Tofurky, right here in Oregon, won the Entrepreneurial Achievement Award. And in addition to these competitive kind of groups that, that these, these folks were, were recognized out of, there's also an opportunity to just recommend community catalysts, like people who are doing the work, organizations who are doing the work to, to help out entrepreneurs in our community. Those awards, the community catalysts, were 
the Economic Development for Central Oregon, or EDCO. If you're like, EDCO sounds vaguely familiar, that's because they run Bend Venture Conference, but they do many other things. But like, they're perhaps most well-known as EDCO that runs BBC. So that's where you may know that name. Chris Magana, who has been super helpful from both a uh, financing standpoint, but also just helping people within the community, was recognized as a community catalyst. And Micro Enterprise Services of Oregon, or MISO, as they're affectionately known, that, that helps with smaller entrepreneurial efforts here in the state and, and in Portland, of course. So congratulations to all of those community catalysts as well. And congrats, of course, to everyone who was even nominated to potentially have an OEN Entrepreneurship Award. Being an entrepreneur is hard, and sometimes just even being selected is a form of recognition in and of itself. So congratulations to each and every one of you who made the list for the 30th annual OEN Entrepreneurship Awards. All right, you've heard of, of Thanksgiving, <laughs> clearly. I hope you've heard of Thanksgiving. You, you may have heard of like Friendsgiving, whereas Thanksgiving, you know, get together with family. Friendsgiving is like the family you choose. The, the friends you want to spend a holiday day with. Well, I've got another giving term for you now, worksgiving. Thanks to Portland startup Radius, you can have a worksgiving celebration with the people you work with in a really cool venue with it fully catered with a Thanksgiving meal. They're doing that all next week and, and the week of uh, Thanksgiving, except for, of course, Thanksgiving Day and Black Friday. But basically, the, the setup is this. You go to the Worksgiving page on Radius. And if you don't, sorry, sorry, you might not even know what Radius does. Let me tell you what Radius does. So let's say you're familiar with this concept of Airbnb, where somebody has a house and they say we want to let people stay at that house so they put it on airbnb and people say i like your house i want to stay at your house and they stay at your house well take that same concept but for work you say i have a house that makes a really interesting workspace could be a great off-site space could be just a work day kind of space and i would like to allow people to work from that space and radius says great you know we got people who want to work from interesting spaces and we have people who want to share their interesting spaces and let people book them and so radius is the platform that does that so it's like an airbnb for work but for workspace like for workplaces especially like temporary workplaces and really good for groups like i always think of them for like off sites or like special occasion kind of meetups so works giving fits right in so what they're trying to do is say yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you use our space to work a lot, and, and, and we love it when you use our spaces to work. But what if you just got to hang out with the people you work with, do a little team bonding, eat some really good food provided by our friends at, at Spork Bites, who do an incredible job of helping cater events, be they lunches, dinners, bigger events. The Spork Bites folks are awesome. And they're partnered with Radius on this. So it's super easy for you. Just go to the page, look for the neighborhood you want, figure out the cost, how many people you can have there. Sign up, everything's done. So you show up the day you booked, bring your team with you, maybe do a little working. Then around lunchtime, like the feast is there, arrived, it's all set up. You get to, you get to eat together. People really like bonding over the food. So you get to eat together, uh, hang out, you know, maybe you go back to work, maybe you got too much tryptophan going on and nobody's going back to work. Who knows? But the most important part is it's a really interesting bonding experience with either your team or your entire company that happens in a really cool space in a cool neighborhood. And what if you're like, I don't know, I don't know, our budget's tight, we're a startup, I don't know that we can afford that. There's also the opportunity to win one of those spaces so and the food the spread the space all the things so even if you don't think this is something your company may be able to afford still head to the radius works giving page put your you know your name in the hat to see if you potentially could win a works giving setup for your company as well 
again, uh, happening, you know, to kick off the holiday season, not happening Thanksgiving or Black Friday, uh, but just weekdays. So um, if you're interested in gathering your team in an awesome space with awesome food provided by an awesome food catering startup thing and a space provided by an awesome Portland startup thing as well, Worksgiving is for you. Happy Worksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Uh, final, you know, talking about people getting together. <laughs> I hadn't made a bad segue the whole show. I know you're waiting for it. So speaking of getting together, if you're into hardware, like there's so many software meetups and like coding meetups and those kind of things, but maybe you're more into the, the physical technology and the software that runs that physical technology. There are two meetups coming up next week, one on Tuesday and one on Wednesday that are your people. So the first meetup is the Portland Hardware Meetup happening Tuesday. They're going to visit North Drinkware, which is the company that makes the really cool glasses that have like the mountains in them. So they have like a clear glass with a clear Mount Hood or uh, Mount St. Helens. Uh, really beautiful work. They're going to visit the, the glass facility that helps make those classes. So if that's interesting to you, if you're like interested, you know, it's not really hardware technology per se, but it's the development and production and manufacturing of a really interesting and complex product. So if that's of interest to you, uh, you want to head over to the Portland Hardware Meetup. And, and if even if this one, you're like, oh, that's not quite my thing, head to the Meetup group and sign up so that the next time they schedule something, you get an announcement and you can show up to it. Uh, the other one that's happening on Wednesday is the Hardware Happy Hour Portland. And Hardware Happy Hour happens every month. It's, uh, you know, like three hours, I think, from like seven to ten. Uh, but it's really designed for the enthusiasts who kind of want to do a little show and tell with what they're doing with hardware. So it doesn't need to be a fully formed product. It could be just something you're tinkering with. It could be something you want to get some feedback on from other hardware hacking types. But really, it's just a it's a reason to get together socially and, and share what creative things you're building with hardware. So if that sounds interesting to you, please RSVP at the meetup group. And even if you can't make this one, head over to the meetup group Join the meetup group so that next time they have a gathering, you'll get an announcement for the Hardware Happy Hour here in Portland. So that's what I've got this week. Fairly quiet, starting to quiet down as we head into the holiday season or the Worksgiving season, <laughs> as it were. I uh, hope you're hanging in there. I hope you're planning to get some downtime or hoping to get a, a Worksgiving session in as these, as these holidays start to happen. But whatever the case... I hope you're hanging in there. I hope you're doing okay. And until we get the chance to chat again, please keep up the good work. So that's all I got for you. So that's it for this week. Uh, you know, we got the O.N.O. win. I cannot talk. 